Hi Lauren. So a little bird told me that you might be interested in learning something from Swan Lake or Nutcracker. And since it is getting close to Christmas, I thought this would be the perfect time to start working on sugar plum. So today's lesson will be a little bit different uh, so that we can spend a little bit more time on learning a new combination. We'll spend a little bit less time at the bar. Uh, we may or may not have time for our TheraBand exercises. I have my TheraBand out uh, in case we have some extra time at the end. Uh, but if we don't, I'll try to remind you to go ahead and grab that for yourself and to do those at the end of this video. So that means that you'll spend a little time on your own for the next couple of weeks at the end of the videos, just so that you're not losing uh, all those strengthening exercises. So that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Ah, um, your balance video, as always, very lovely. You're maintaining your turnout so well. Uh, if you watch the video, the way that you really squeeze into that fifth position in your suit new is so nice. Uh, what I really want to work on and something that actually the sugar plum variation really uh, focuses on is that sharpness in your toes. So we're gonna learn the sugar plum variation and the whole time we're going to imagine that your feet are something sharp, some like sculpted piece of, of stone, okay? So your upper body is beautiful and flowy, but those toes are nice and sharp. And you'll see as we learn the sugar plum variation that that really comes into play with a lot of things that uh, you do. All right, so let's begin. We'll launch right into our footies. We'll take our elevés. We're going to work on some pas de braise, and then we're going to be done with bar. We're gonna come into the center, okay? So here we go. You know your footies, really finding those nice high heels. And here we go. right into our elevés. We're gonna stick with 16. I think that's where we left off. Uh, and 
go ahead and really start thinking about what these toes are doing, okay? Keeping them nice and fierce and sharp every time those toes leave the ground. Really, really pointing all the way through the tippy tips of the toes, okay? So here we go. Thinking of inner thighs, squeezing up and together through the center all the way out the top of your head. other side placing this right foot behind these super pointed tips here we go might have accidentally done 32 on the same side if my calf hadn't reminded me that it was done. All right, so 
Next thing at the bar, pot of beret. The reason we are looking at these is because there are quite a few in the sugar plum variation. Uh, now I know we've done pot de beret, but I'm not sure that we've done the sort of pot de beret that they do very often in sugar plum, which moves through coupe. So I believe we've done this kind, right, where we point, point, down to our coupe, point, point, down to our coupe. But these guys are going to come through coupe the whole time. So we go coupe, coupe, coupe. In some ways, kind of easier. So. Remember, pas de beret, back, side, front, okay? So I'm going to start with this left leg in coupe. I'm going to step onto it behind and bring my front foot into coupe, coupe. Now I'm going to step to the side, left foot coupe. Now I'm going to step in front to plie, coupe the back foot. And again, up we go, coupe front, Coupe front, other foot, lower down, coupe back. Coupe front, coupe front, other foot, lower to the back. Coupe, coupe down. Okay, so it depends upon whether you're thinking about the uh, supporting leg or the working leg, what, whether backside front actually works. So if we're thinking about the back foot, I'm peeking onto it. Pique back, pique side, PK front. Yes, that's how you can think about that. So just figure out what works best for you and your brain and go ahead and use that. So one last time before we try it with music, we go coupe to the front, coupe left front, lower down right back, coupe left front, coupe right front, lower down left back, or PK left back, PK right side, lower down, PK right, PK left side, PK lower down. That's really hard to articulate, so do as I do and not as I say, I guess. All right, let me know if you have any questions about that. Let's find the music. We're just going to take those back and forth nice and easy. Um, we'll take four sets, so to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. showed you I showed it ending in a plie and when I did it just now I just lowered my heel down it can be done both ways depending upon what comes next we will definitely differentiate that when we look at the uh, combination okay it's time to put the chair away that's exciting to learn for sugar plum is uh, jeté and jeté is a petit allegro um, movement so you know we've done things like croissant and pas de chat and all that it fits into that realm of things it's quick um, quick jumping movements I'm just realizing that not a lot of the floor is showing but I'll try to stay back a little bit Hope that doesn't fall down. Okay. Maybe I usually put this down here. Could that be true? No, it'll definitely fall. Oh, oh. Lauren, I think we found a new angle. Maybe. We'll 
bash. Okay. All right, we'll try that. If you fall, I'll come fix you. We are about to jump. So uh, these are little jumps and they begin with, sorry, you'll mirror me. So you'll start with your right foot in the back and in plie, we can just put our hands on our hips for now. You're going to degage that back foot out to the side and then it's going to land right back in fifth, coupe. Okay, I'm, I'm breaking it down majorly, so uh, it's gonna look a little different when we build it all the way up. So now my left foot's in the back, yes? Brushes out to Deje, super sharp pointed toes, replaces that fifth position, coupe. Yes, this should look a little familiar like your frappe, we brush out and coupe, and brush out, land coupe. Now notice I'm not going side to side, I'm going in a straight line forward, okay? So, we brush out, land, coupe. Brush out, land, coupe. Now you'll notice I'm starting to go up a little bit with my brush and up a little bit with my brush, okay? That's because this is going to turn into a jump, okay? So with that brush, I'm going to jump straight into the air, brush, and land. Okay? Now, again, it becomes even harder to keep from going side to side once you add that jump in there. So really make sure you're thinking of your fifth position landing right in a straight line every time. Okay? These are a little difficult slow. So <laughs> we go brush jump and land. Brush jump and land. Brush jump making sure we're in plie every time, legs are totally turned out, brush jump and land. Okay, we're going to take eight of those moving forward because I think otherwise you won't be able to see my feet anymore. And this is one of the things I'd like for you to video for me for this uh, chunk of time. I just wanna see your eight jetés moving forward. Okay, let me find some music. Little jumps, let's see how that looks. Okay, they're gonna be slow, but we don't wanna rush through this, okay? The good news is in uh, Sugar Plum, there's only one. Okay, it, it's not a bunch in a row, but this is this is how we learn. Here we go. Starting with the right foot back, sixth or fifth position. Here we go. Stage, just like we've been doing your uh, summer fairy solo oh my gosh yeah summer fairy and now it's winter it's totally time to change it up to something uh, a little colder so uh, you shockingly are going to start in exactly the same corner a lot of variations have a lot of similarities and start in the same way and you already know this step because it's in your solo so we begin with our right foot behind and just like you do in your solo Rolling through coupe, down, coupe, down, coupe, down, coupe, down. From here, big arabesque, you're used to these two, arabesque. And then we're going to go on to the next thing. So based on, depending upon your space, maybe keep those a little bit underneath yourself. Actually, let's see here. No, we're gonna do we're only going to do two of those. So for the first two, 
we go bum, 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 bum. One, two, arabesque. Okay? That again. Arms go one and two and roll through, roll through, arabesque. All right? That shouldn't feel too crazy yet. Now, this repeats a lot. That's another nice thing about uh, the normal pattern of variations. You do something on one side, then you do it on the other side. And so it uh, makes it easy for, easier for learning. So we're here in our arabesque. You're going to come down and you're going to take little bores, but in first position, okay? So they're not gonna cross. They're just gonna go do, 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 do. And you're gonna send your upstage, your right foot forward, okay? Now maybe as we learn this, we can have our hands on our hips, we'll see. Let's, let's just do that for a second and then maybe we'll add in arms. So here I am, I'm in plie, this foot is in front of me and I'm going to, this is hard Lauren, okay? So maybe just try it first without coming up. We're going to go touch the ankle, touch the ankle, down, okay? So I go feet, feet, down. Yes, and that knee's back. Feet, feet, down from the side. Feet, feet, down. Okay, now maybe we try it with a releve. From here, feet, feet, down. Yeah, the quicker you beat, the less time you have to spend up there. But then it looks impressive because the beat is fast. So we go feet, feet, down. I'm facing front right now, yes, or I'm in a front line with my hips to this corner. Now I'm going to switch my hips over to the opposite downstage corner. My foot's going to come through coupe and go to a back line. So I'm in arabesque, okay? So very important to switch those hips. Switch, okay? And if you want to get fancy, you can go coupe, coupe, back. Little beat. Woo, that was a long time on that leg. All right. So we just did our big arabesque. We go bore, 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 down, feet, feet, out, feet, feet, out. Oh my goodness, sorry about the doggy. Now we're going to do it this direction. Little parallel, or first position, bores. Now it's my left foot in front. Feet, feet, out, feet, feet, out. Okay? You work on that while I go tell the kids to be quiet. Sorry, Lauren. Okay. She already needs another haircut. So here we have, we go. Bore, bore, down. Let's try it with the arms. They're very similar to the ones that you do for your walk. So this arm rounded, this arm opening up. It's going to go feet, feet, down, feet, feet, out. Same arm as leg is extended forward. Come up. Arms are going to go up, 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 land, feet, feet, out, feet, feet, out. I'm nice and twisted there. Okay. Oof. I know that probably feels like a lot right now, but it's going to get easier. So we start in B plus. We get with our right foot in back. You have one and two and one. And two and another desk and little bores down. Foot to the front. Beat beat out. Beat beat. Arabesque. Oof. <coughs> it's Wicket's fault. She's distracting. Beat beat. Beat beat. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna walk her in front. No. No. The mailman's here, sorry. I thought I timed it so he wouldn't be here, but gee whiz. No, no. You need to stop. You need to stop. Hush. Hush. Hush.
Sorry, Lauren, hopefully you can fast forward through that part. So let's try it with music. Um, this might feel a little rushed, but remember that you have your, she's driving me bonkers, your three vertical dots that you can use to slow it down a little bit. Okay, so fast forward through this part and slow down the part where we're dancing. Wicked Billy Joe Martini. You stop it. No. I guess it was about time for a wicket interruption. We haven't had one for a while, so. She can only contain herself so long. All right. Turn this off as much as I can. I'm gonna put this speaker by you. <laughs> All right, where am I going? I'm going to the speaker to talk about music. Okay, so hopefully that music sort of makes sense. You have bum, 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 arabesque, little boring down. Going to bring this back leg in just like we had it when we were facing the bar for pas de bray. Coupe, coupe, lower. Okay? Pretty easy, yeah? Sort of. Start talking to you like you can talk back to me. Let's try that much again. straight into it again. So you just did your little pas de bourre. You go right into your parallel down out. Yes. Uh, -do 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 Same thing repeating over again. Kind of like what I was saying about variations, okay? So let's try the whole thing. Let's try that much again, and then we will call it a day for today. Hopefully that's not too confusing since I can't be there in the room with you, but um, ask any questions if you have them. All right, here we go.
fun to learn. Um, I'm combining a few different sugar plum fairy variations. Uh, everyone has their own different version, but a lot of them have a lot of uh, similarities. So I can send you some of the ones that I'm looking at for this so that you can watch the pros do it if that interests you. Um, other than that, we will proceed with Sugar Plum next time. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and as always, reach out with any questions you might have. All right, see you soon, Lauren. Bye.